This video will be an unboxing, setup, and review of the multiple lens floodlight camera. Okay, for full disclosure, this was sent to me in lieu of a review and this video that I'm making. So, let's unbox this thing. Knife with me. <laughs> All right. So here's the instruction booklet. It shows the packing list on it. <clears throat> oh, good. The AC shut off. Sorry about that background noise earlier. Okay, so here's the uh, little packing book list and book. Looks pretty interesting. Um, I'm just gonna kind of look through here real quick. Got a QR code to connect, uh, so you can help you register. So, all right, let's uh, let's dig in. See what all we got here. There's the antenna. Power cable, adapter, Oops. Uh, screws, mounting hardware, weatherproof, weatherproofing for the connectors. This actually feels fairly substantial. It feels like a pretty solid deal here. So this works off of 12 volts. Ultimately, I would like to possibly hook this up to a uh, solar panel and a battery so it can kind of be self-powered and not have to worry about running these wires inside the house, but they're pretty small, so it should be pretty easily done anyway. I'm already thinking of how to do it, so I already know how, to, how I'm going to do that. All right, so anyway, blah, blah, blah. Let's go ahead and put some power to it. This looks very similar to some other cameras that I've done review on as far as setup. It looks like it probably has a little reset button right here. And if you need to connect a uh, network cable, you can do that right here. I, that will not be required for me. So, let me plug this in. Oh, go ahead and put the, put the uh, antenna on there. Like so, I might just go ahead and mount it. I don't know. Whatever. Okay, so before I uh, plug it in, it looks like it's going to have me download an app. Get this little off screen here. So, uh, do, 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 do. turn on my screen recorder here. Media and mic, start recording. Three, two, one. Okay, so now the. Now my phone is recording as well. So use your QR code reader. And ah, IPC 360 app. I actually have been using that for other things, for my other cameras. This may be the same manufacturer, I don't know. 
Let's go ahead and install it because I don't have it currently installed. Open. So it's going to get. So it's going to tell me to choose my current region. Okay. United States is where I'm from. And next, you will either need to create an account or log into an account. I think I already have an account for this. Let me try. Let me log in. There we go. I guess it took a minute to take, take effect. So I'm going to allow the app to send me notifications. It has a free trial for cloud storage, smart AI detection, and notifications. I'm going to skip that for now. And you can actually see my previous cameras here. <laughs> okay, so this is this is definitely the same software at least as what my other one is. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and apply power to the camera. It's alive! So it looks like it's homing itself. Okay, it looks like, well, let's just try this. There we go, get that out of the way. Okay. Okay, so press the little plus up here. Next, allow permissions. Please scan the QR code on the device. I saw that a while ago. Probably not going to like it that way. My camera lights flashing in red. Do you see a light flashing in red? Press reset button until light. All right. So here's the reset button. So let's press that until it starts flashing red. nothing flashing in red my camera okay so I'm gonna go in here and move this over here okay hit plus change the region as needed scan the QR code it tells me to look for a flashing light I hear an audible tone, but I don't hear. I don't see a flashing light anywhere. I'm gonna continue on, and then it's gonna ask me to tap, tap to a join. Okay, it's gonna go over to its own Wi-Fi. Okay, join it to my network. <laughs> Made the doorbell chimes uh, sound so that on the previous series that meant that it is connected. Anybody know what that means? <laughs> I don't. So I went in and changed my Wi-Fi. I've got several different Wi-Fi's I work off of here.
So if I back out, what happens? Nothing. Plus, United States. I'm assuming it doesn't have a red light that it flashes. I don't know. It's asking me to connect to it. That's fine. Okay, it's showing connected. Select the Wi-Fi network you want your camera to connect to and input the password. Oh, I see the light. There's, okay, here, here is the flashing red light, right here. I was looking down here for it. So, there it is. So, what happens if I go through and do this again? I don't know. Alright, so it failed. Incorrect Wi-Fi. Join, connect. Camera ready. Oh, it works. So next, I'm going to install it. Outdoors. Forest, that sounds fun. I don't know. Next. Name it. Forest? Eh, backyard. Done. Okay, so next I probably need to put this thing outside. Let's pause it for just a minute here. Okay, so next, mount the plate with these screws right here facing down. And I'm probably going to find a different location for this at a later time. Use a uh, battery backup solar power solar panel with a battery. That's a terrible bit. And then uh, mount the camera. So. off these. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on there on the uh, on this try to help keep water out even though I don't have a network cable connected to it. Let's go like that. There we go. And plug it in and let's use it. OK, 
Okay, so I've had the uh, the camera for uh, a couple of weeks now. I wanted to give it a good test and kind of check it out in different daylight, night, time scenarios and all that kind of stuff. And I have to say I really, really like this camera. Um, it's got a lot of nice features on it. And a lot of them have to do with, uh, with the app itself, actually. So I'm going to try to walk through this app real quick and show you what all is available. So first of all, SD card. Again, you can put an SD card in it, which I have now. And you can go in. Oh, let's turn it down. Uh, you can go in and see live recordings. You can, you can set this up to either only record when there's motion detected or record continuously. And right now I have mine set for cont continuous. That's why you see the two different colors here, uh, blue and gold or yellow. Blue is just live with no motion detected, and then the uh, the gold here is motion detected. So one thing I did notice a lot at night. Uh, at this time, I have it set primary. I have it set to give out light whenever there's motion. So unfortunately, with that. It draws in all sorts of bugs and sets off the motion detector and it records uh, all night because of that. But that's okay, I, I can switch that. So uh, kind of scrolling through here, you can see all the different footage. And if you, if you have an SD card in it and you want to pull something down from the SD card, of course you can unmount the uh, camera and pop the SD card out and check it that way or you can just simply go in here and if you just want to steal you can hit the camera icon in fact I'll just go ahead and do that and it will throw that into your gallery on your phone or you can hit record and then you can just record that moment right and it just continuously records until you go back and hit the stop on it and what that'll do is that puts it into the gallery right here. And there it is. So back to the camera. So yeah, that's... The files aren't too terribly big, honestly. And this is in 1080p, which is nice. Or you can set it for... Let's see, let's get back down here. Or you can go in and set it for just standard def by pressing this button right here and going to standard def. Uh, file size will be a lot smaller, but of course quality is not as good on standard def. Uh, so let's just kind of go through this menu real quick. So again, there's the SD card. Cloud, I don't have cloud service on mine. You may want that. It's a good idea, honestly, because uh, then your files are backed up to a cloud. If somebody breaks into your property, then they can't just simply grab the camera and have the SD card, right? Uh, we'll do that, but you'll still have a backup on the cloud. We have Pan Tilt right here. And this does a really good job normally. <laughs> I think I got too much stuff going on my phone right now. Uh, of, of moving around, it's a 180 degree spread that it goes, and then it can also go basically straight down pretty close to it anyway. I think it does actually do go, go straight down. There we go. So it looks like it holds up to four presets and to set one in here I'm gonna hit edit and remove one of them real quick just to show you how to set one in here. So to set one in We'll go in and basically just pan the camera to wherever you would like for it to be at, right? Come on. Then you, once you get it to the location, hit collect and then hit save. And you can fill in the location. Test. Hit save. And now that'll save it to my collections, right? And it gives you a little thumbnail of what it looks like. Oops. And it'll give you a little thumbnail of what it's seeing. So that's pretty handy. It makes it real easy to jump around uh, to, to, 
to specific areas. Come on now. My screen recording and this app are not playing well together. I'm sorry. There we go. Okay. So the talk function right here, you can actually press that and talk through the speaker on the camera. So if you see somebody at your door or whatever, you can press that and say, hey, get off my property or please leave the package, so-and-so, whatever. Capture and record. These two will work on live, right? Uh, regardless if you have cloud or if you have an SD card. Uh, if you hit capture, it'll just do a screen capture, save it in the album, or you can hit record and it'll record live, right? What is live at that time? And then dump it into your gallery. Lens matching is pretty nice. Um, let me, let's hit that. So by lens matching, you can show the required area of the wide angle lens, telephoto lens. So basically what you're doing is you will be setting up your the dome, the movable dome lens to the portable, to the, I'm sorry, to the fixed lens so that they see the same thing. And that's how you uh, that's how you calibrate it. Um, but first you have to turn off the tracking. So we'll turn that off. And we'll go back. Lens matching. And it's going to initialize. And again, I'm recording on the phone and doing some other stuff. So this is uh, probably going to be a little bit slower than it normally would because of what all I'm doing on the phone. I did it earlier and it, it did it pretty quick. There we go. So yeah, so you uh, make sure that these are focusing at the same area, which they are. And it does a pretty good job of it automatically. So you can see here, it did it. So hit yes. So that's done. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my tracking back on. I use bullet and dome tracking. Basically, if anything comes in within the, the view of either one of those two, the dome will move and uh, track whatever's there okay now let's go back go back so there's tracking we just did that lens matching and tracking are in the same area there you can do reset to reset the camera this is pretty cool right here, you've got a siren. So if you see somebody out there and you want to scare them away, maybe hit that siren, right? And it'll set off an audible tone to get their attention. Uh, if it's at night and you want night vision to work, well, if you want night vision to work, you can go in here and ch choose between smart mode, colorful, or black and white. So what the difference is, Oh, we'll go here. Black and white is using an infrared, so there's no actual light emitted when, when it sees something out there, right? Colorful, this camera has lights on it right here, and so when something's happening out there, it will light that up. So maybe you want them to know the camera's there, or maybe you don't. If you don't, you probably want to go into the black and white mode only, uh, if you want them to know there's a camera there and somebody's watching them at night, then maybe have that on and that will give you better uh, quality as well. If you switch to smart mode, you can enjoy black and white night vision. Camera delivers vivid full in color when motion's detected. So in normal mode, it has night vision, right? So there's no lights, no porch light on out there or whatever. This light's not on. And when it sees motion, then it turns this on which that's how I prefer mine actually. So we'll go back. Sorting, it just does this. Uh, you can change the where it sorts it to. Um, so up here, it's just some of your typical stuff. You can show wide angle or pan. Do, 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 do. Can mute it. 
or not and that's the mic on the camera that it mutes then this right here will, will you can set up this is good uh, you can set up what area that it looks for motion um, to, to kick on the either the light or the recording well actually both and another thing you can do is you can zoom in here and this does a pretty good job of zooming uh, obviously it's digital and not optical talked about this already uh, full high def 1080p versus standard def which is what 480 again standard def will give you more smaller file size so you can get more on there uh, but lesser quality full definition takes up more space but gives you higher quality and then this right here we'll just flip it back and forth uh, what did I miss I think this has it all I, th I think I think we got it all okay so anyway there you go this is the multiple lens floodlight camera with up to 10 times zoom I just mentioned the zoom uh, full dual screen display, smart floodlight, motion to tracking, motion tracking, and color night color night vision. Um, this looks this uses the same app that my Vixure camera uses. Don't know if it's the same manufacturer. I suspect it probably is. And uh, I like it. The only thing I did not like is when I was setting it up the error that was said in Chinese didn't help me out much and I had difficulty seeing the the light it took me a while to find the light the blinking light there and in fact I didn't see it until after I'd already set it up so anyway I like it um, there'll be a link down in my description to this and yes I did receive this free for promotion but that was it it's not paid or anything they just sent me the camera for free to check it out and I like it. Anyway, thank you for watching. Oh, 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 wait, stop, stop. I'll put some some video at the end of this that will be from the camera directly into this video. Uh, it will be a day, night with color mode and night with night vision. So, so you can see an example of what the video actually looks like. There you go, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please select like down there and subscribe to my channel. If you didn't like it, well, subscribe to the channel. Maybe you like the next one. Thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.